The world is drastically changing, and it won't be the same as before even after coronavirus is gone. I've just attended a paid seminar by Ken Honda talking about the coronavirus and how to be prepared for the world after the outbreak. I'm not allowed to share you all the details of the seminar, but I will share my key takeaways and what I personally thought. In this video, I would like to simply share you 1. What is happening now? 2. What should we do about it? 3. What will the world be like after corona? Do you think you won't be affected by coronavirus? If you're confident that you won't, you might be too optimistic. The day I'm recording this is March 20th, 2020, and the coronavirus outbreak was labeled a pandemic by the World Health Organization. Vaccines are still under development and nations don't have an effective solution to stop this deadly virus yet. I'm living in Germany, but Merkel says 60 to 70 percent of the population will be infected by coronavirus. It's quite obvious that more and more countries are headed for nationwide lockdowns. In EU, we already have Italy, Spain, France, and Belgium that already went into lockdown. Residents must stay at home unless they need to go to work, supermarkets, health facilities, or visit people in need. Though each country has slightly different measures, this has a huge impact on the global economy, which might lead to recession and hyperinflation. Industries like tourist, airline, automotive, restaurant, jewelry, taxi, and many others will be hit hard. Traveling across borders, buying new cars and clothes, going to live events, concerts, movie theaters will be reduced. People might lose jobs and their salaries might be cut into half. That's the dark side. But Ken Honda said we're going to experience the worst and best part of our life. Yes, though corporations will reduce investments and might lay off people, this doesn't mean we all have to live on the streets. Governments will provide basic incomes, a periodic payment. People will start finding new jobs and a new way of living. But I don't want to be blindly optimistic. I believe in realistic optimism. We need to take care of ourselves and the people we love. We first need to be prepared for the lockdown. To have enough cash and food and daily goods to survive for a few months. We can't wait for the coronavirus to pass easily because it won't. It seems it will stick around until 2022 or 2023. We can't assume the world will be the same before the outbreak either. Many industries and business models will be reborn. A new economy will rise. New jobs that never existed in the past might come up. Ken Hanna was mentioning one example of housewives providing a homemade food delivery service, adding 10 to 20 bucks on the material cost. If you were already bored with your current job, this might be a chance for you. So it's okay to lose money. It's okay to lose your job. Let go of whatever leaves you. We might lose the people we love through this hardship due to this deadly virus. But regardless of the negative sides, I believe we're strong enough and determined to embrace the struggles and go through changes. To have the courage to change. As Charles Darwin says, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. The people that take ownership of their lives will be the light of others. In the end, I think when humanity hits rock bottom, the greatest moments are yet to come. Focus on what you need to do now. That might be to buy food or withdraw cash or whatever, but after you do that, Take a moment to think about your current job and financial state. Will your job still exist after Corona? If not, think you should start by finding your purpose in life and this video over here will help you find that. Ken Honda was saying in his seminar, Whenever we ride on a scary roller coaster, we feel fear. But on the flip side, we feel excitement. Fear and excitement are both sides of the same coins. Raise your hands and enjoy the ride. A wonderful era is yet to come. Please take care of yourself and your family and keep the faith. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.